Good morning, everyone. This is Tony from Her Homestead Skills, and after quite a number of recommendations from uh, many of you, and the fact that we were not that far away, we decided to visit the U.S. Space and Rocket Center, and uh, yes, that was an amazing place.
Right up there, you can nod your head gently and it won't affect your balance. So move your head and get you busy. Okay. And so, um, after about a minute, you'll feel slight pressure on your chest and you'll feel a little facial, uh, like you're in a wind. Then you'll hear a door slamming noise as all the platforms go up. Okay. And you'll be up for like two minutes. Like I said, the sensation is like that first big drop in a roller coaster. Mm -hmm. When you rise up, you'll be up in the air for two minutes. Or, um, that's pretty much it. But just relax. And you're welcome to ride as many times as you like before we uh, close at 5 o'clock. Okay. All right. Perfect. How long does it last? Four minutes. Okay. Because I ask people, because they're always concerned about the how long it is, I go, in any thrill ride, you lose all sense of time. Yeah. And that's the key. Mm -hmm. But the main thing is just relax, breathe normally, face forward. I'm right here with you. If you need to stop, just yell out peanut butter. Okay. I use that word because it cuts through the noise. And, you know, you have to actually say it. Because stop and ah sound alike. Yeah. Exactly. All right. You're all, right. all set. I'm okay. ready to leave. Inside, though, nothing really happens because it all, you know, it's all set piece. But until you hear the noise, which is yeah. about a minute in, you'll hear it from the outside. So, like I said, doors slamming. Sounds good. Okay. Bye, Mark. <laughs> See you later. Be safe. Okay, watch this step. Yeah. Yeah, for your hands Survived the force accelerator. <laughs> Yay. Okay, Mark's having a great old time, and that's a good thing. Good to see him smile. Anyway, enjoying the space rocket. Continue along here. Lots of children, which is good. Okay, I'm standing in front of the Lunar Space Module. See how Elon Musk would be excited about building rockets. Yeah. Chinook helicopter. Which is a big one. Probably a lot smaller than the ones they have nowadays though.
Yo. Wasn't he? He was. He worked for the German Army during the Second World War yep. and then moved to the U.S. and yep. continued work here. Yep. systems are go here at Marshall Space Flight Center. I'm standing on the roof of the blockhouse some 250 yards from the test stand. Beneath me, engineers are in the final countdown phase for the first static test of all five first stage engines on the Saturn V, the rocket that will someday carry astronauts to the moon. This enormous part of the rocket features five powerful F-1 engines, and today, April 16th, 1965, for the first time, if all goes well, all five will fire together. This facility here in Huntsville has been the nerve center of a race to test the rockets that will fly the first humans to the moon. Werner von Braun and his team, along with engineers from Rocketdyne, have been designing and testing the F-1 engine for years, trying to solve the problems caused by scaling up to such a huge and powerful engine. Getting to this point has not been easy. Violent vibrations caused by the igniting fuel, what engineers call combustion instability or chugging, have been a nagging problem for the F-1. During many tests, these vibrations have literally ripped apart the engine, setting the program back. But now, in order to meet President Kennedy's deadline, it has been decided to test all five together. 
two months ahead of schedule. The failure during this test could end our hopes of getting to the moon by the end of this decade. Attention all personnel. Attention all personnel. Clear the test stand area. Clear the test stand area. Looks like the test conductor, Robert Sadler, has checked with his guys on their console to confirm all systems are go. We're about to witness history in the making. Automatic countdown sequence has started. T minus seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, ignition.